here with a precious win on the road. It's a very special day on the calendar. Noche Latina, commemorating the NBA's connection to Latin heritage. And Allie, it's all yours. Thanks so much, VA. Guys, Giannis trying to keep his edge. He doesn't want to train with other superstars in the summer. He said, quote, my competitive nature is so high. I An old school approach, Allie. Thanks. As we approach the postseason, let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You look at the Bulls, this season has been an absolute dream for them. They're currently at number one as the postseason approaches. And of course, Milwaukee, they're in sixth place. When I look at Chicago, they've been terrific throughout the regular season, showing they go. may be just the team to beat in the postseason. You know, the way they've handled just about every challenge that's been thrown at them this year, I don't see how they could be considered front runners for the title. Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. Giannis and Portis are in the middle. Holiday and DiVincenzo Giannis. man the backcourt. And it's Middleton in at the three. And for Chicago, and it's G in at the point. And, you know, with Giannis on the floor, B.A., he's able to completely blow a team out on his own. I mean, he can take over a game with big-time performances. We've seen it. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. It doesn't make it easy, does it? And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. You know, with Giannis, as you said, Clark, the numbers he can put up are eye-popping. Yeah, he can hit you for 40 points and 20 rebounds on any given night, not to mention how well he's grown Giannis, as a passer. A cool and his assist totals and block shots typically are otherworldly as well. It's stolen by Holiday. Anadokounmpo outside. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the sub. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Here's Champ. He's got five to the paint. Here's G. Let's it go from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. Red hot so far. Four for four. Cooking with gas. Couldn't draw it up any better. The drive by DiVincenzo. And the first shot of the night for him. Missing. Chicago's gone two for two from deep to start this one. To the wing. Right side. Here's Red Hot. Takes it inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Boy, I'd love to get a replay on that one. Let's keep it handy so we can see it again. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside Holiday. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Here's Red Hot. Pass to the kid. The shot, no good. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Last time they met in Milwaukee. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do yes. better on the glass. That was their undoing. And sometimes that can be a motivating factor. May very well light a fire under them tonight. Nobody likes to be dominated on the glass like that. Yep, that one goes. And as award voting is wrapping up, Clark, you look at the MVP award. We see legends like Shaq and Kobe who only won it once or twice. You think we should split it up into two awards? Best statistical season and then best player in the league? I like the thought there. The NBA elected to do something like that. Player of the year or MVP and then the statistical leader or standout in another award. I think that might be a way to uh, cover that base. 
All alone. That one falls. Yes. Nice Dedicated feed that time from Holiday. The assist. Holiday's Drew got three Holiday. assists now in this one. Only one miss in his first six shots. He's definitely brought his A game. G's shot is good. Time out, time Starting out. to find oh, his rhythm. Out. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. McCarthy, look at how Holiday has attacked on offense. He's gotten much more selective with his spots. To me, B.A., he's just more comfortable offensively. He's always been aggressive, but he's got a confidence to him now that is allowing him to really put the pedal to the metal offensively. I think something just clicked for him when he was with the Pelicans. The Bucks making a switch here. Norris checked in for Portis. Williams comes in for Middleton. Ross, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. Baddest one, no good. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Here's Williams. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Williams misses. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. The three ball. The rebound by the Bucks. They're coming off that win against the Heat. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And, you know, confidence is key there. They seem to play yes. with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. Nice shot by Terry Ross. Ross. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. 141 left in the first. Here's Insanity. Pass to Battis one. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Shot blocked. To the right side. Here's Money. There's the triple. Williams grabs the board. Outside Ross. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. 59 seconds left to play in the first. To the left wing. Here's Nora. He's now one for two with that bucket. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Down to five on the shot clock. Hill, the pass to Williams. Takes a three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's Mr. Moves. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And he makes the first. Both teams will make substitutions. Both good from the line that time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Ana Kumpo, right side. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. The Bucks on top, up by two. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And one thing that makes the Greek freak so dominant is he drives to score, but also to pass. He breaks it down for us. I'm a lot more comfortable. Uh, it's because my teammates trust me. My team trusts me to make the right play. And, you know, lately, late uh, in the game, I'm just trying to make the right play. That can be a pass. Uh, that can be a shot. But that's my mindset down the stretch. 
Grant, I love that Giannis is not worried about the numbers. I mean, B.A., he just wants to win. That's another thing that makes him great. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stat-wise? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And it's the Beast in its center, filling out the middle. And for Milwaukee, George Hill out there with Grayson Allen. Then it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. Then it's Patrick Williams. And it's Nora in at the four. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. To the inside. Insanity. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, Great those team. kinds of mistakes tip the scales. Time As usual, the terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Chris Middleton, a multiple all-star, yet always seems like he flies under the radar. Coach Bud said with how steady and subtle his game is, both defensively and offensively, he's a heck of a player that sometimes I think is underappreciated. But guys, I'd offer not by his teammates. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. Gee, no good. The Bucks have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Here's DiVincenzo. Blocked! Quarter two and about two minutes in. To the middle. Here's the kid. And a strong finish with two hands. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Here's Holiday. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Personal foul, first team. Well, you can't ever feel safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. All right, Grant, if you could be GM for one rebuilding team right now, which would it be? Oh, wow. That's tough. I mean, you got the Grizzlies with Morant. You got the Pels with Zion. You got the Mavs with Doncic. You know, I'll probably stick with the Pelicans and Zion Williamson. I think he has a lot to offer and has the ability to dominate in this league. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. First one falls for him. And he makes both free throws. Here's Holiday. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Time out, time out. Milwaukee time calls out. timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. All right, let's look back over the last 10 games now. See which teams were topping the charts in three-point shooting. Number one, the Bulls. Number one, you have to have good shooters. Number two, you have to take good shots. This team is both talented and disciplined. Here's Middleton. Knocks down the 18-footer. 
Middleton's got six. Well, I like the fact that Middleton takes advantage of the mid-range jump shot. When he gets room to pull the trigger from there, he's taking it, and he's almost automatic. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunity. Down low. Here's Big Dog. Allen defending. Inside. Rejected by Allen. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. First and steals. Third and fewest turnovers a game. And looking at their defensive marks, they are top five in opponent shooting percentage. This is a squad that wants to shut down teams on a nightly basis. Ranking number one in steals. This team gets after it on the defensive end. They aren't afraid to take chances and go for opportunities to take the ball when they see them. Middleton up top. He has six. Outside, DiVincenzo. Yep, that one goes. Dante Outstanding DiVincenzo. focus from Dante DiVincenzo, not allowing a bump to throw him off his shot there. Good concentration. The kid. Willing passes, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Holiday with the ball. Rebounded by Fresh. The Bulls have gotten 7 of 10 attempts to drop in the second quarter. To the inside. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Here's Holiday. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's 2 for 4 now. You know, Holiday is one of those rare guards who's as physical as any other player on the floor. Holiday busting it up inside. Out to the right wing. From deep. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. DiVincenzo, the pass to Portis. Chicago foul. First person Ross, he's checked in for the Bucks. Team foul. Into the lineup for the Bucks. The home team on D. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And he jams it home Terrible with authority. Ross. You cannot give Ross room to launch. You can't let him take flight. When he's this close, he's going to hammer it home. Here's Champ. The shot, no good. And Milwaukee the other way now. Allen inside. He's averaging almost five points a game. That one no good. Pass to G. Here's Champ. Here's Battist one. Middleton covering. Shot clock at six. Here's Battist one. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. You got to be mindful of that. Pass to Middleton. The three. Baddest one with the rebound. Chicago's gone two for two from outside the arc here in the second quarter. The kid. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter. Actually destroying the opponent. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Hey, guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. And the Bucks making a change here. Lauren Acumpo's checked in for Portis. Nora comes in for Middleton. Williams is checked in for Allen. And it's Hill yes, in for DiVincenzo. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Here's Red Hot. Pass to G. Here's Baddest One. 34 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Red Hot. Sinks it. What range from downtown. He has seven. 
and just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And the big Giannis finish by Giannis. Giannis. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdowns. Pass to Insanity. Here's Red Hot. Fires from deep. Baddest one, no good. Bulls foul. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Now into the lineup for your Bulls. And we finished off one half a play. They lead by eight. And we'll be back right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Well, for Chicago, man, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They're running some great offense right now, working the ball in a good spot. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan. For the well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And it's the kid in at the five. That's the group for Billy Donovan getting going here in the second half. And it's out of the Kumpo off the drive. Giannis, it's almost Kumpo. illegal. Somebody as big as Giannis shouldn't really have that quick of a first step. Pass to Red Hot. Out of the Kumpo with the block. Middleton outside. Portis for three. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Portis has gotten himself on the board with a three there. And he wastes no time coming out of the break. That's exactly what they want. Get him into the offensive flow right away and then keep it going. Assist Time now to hear from our reporter, yes. Ali LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher. So the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better. Trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment, Allen. Interesting. Thank you. Their first miss after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. And it's good for two. And it's a seven-point Chicago lead. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. And the Bucks call time, time, time here. to check and see who is in the lead when it comes to blocks. Giannis Antetokounmpo on top. He changes more shots than he blocks, and he blocks a ton of them. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Outside, DiVincenzo sinks it from Dante distance. DiVincenzo. has got his second basket on the night. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. And, you know, DiVincenzo starting game didn't miss a beat transitioning to that role from a reserve player the prior season. Not surprising given his mentality. And with DiVincenzo Clark, him stepping into the starting five was a natural fit. Well, I tell you, it seems like a great fit, B.A. Gives that lineup exactly what they needed. A guy who doesn't have to have the ball. He plays excellent defense. He can make the three-point shot. Moves well without it. All of that bodes well with those other starters. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Left side, Holiday. Mr. Moves with a rebound. Chicago has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Out left to the wing. Here's Red Hot. 11 points in the game. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Bulls. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. Williams is checked in for Portis. He 
He's perfect from the line this time. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Now here's Holiday. Defense is right there. Pass to Anadokounmpo. The six-footer. Now Middleton. Five on the clock. The Bucs need to get up a shot here. Here's Holiday. And no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. You know, he looks a little off-kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Red Hot can't get it to go. The Bucks have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. From downtown, that's good. From Blue Holiday ball. on the assist by three. Middleton. Middleton's got three Chicago, assists tonight. Timeout, call. timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter. But he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Grant. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. The Bucks making a switch here. Allen's checked in for Chicago. They've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Here's Champ with the drive. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And it's time for an injury report. Guys, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for Chicago. It appears to be a mild to moderate sprained ankle. They don't think it's too serious. And in this crucial time of the season, any injury can have a major impact on a team. We'll have to make some immediate adjustments, guys. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feel. Here is DiVincenzo. He's got five. Outside, Williams. Off target from three-point range. Chicago's gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage of distance so far. He's pouring it on at a nice clip, and the rest of the team is stuffing up as well. Milwaukee's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. And he lobs it up top! And the jam by Ana Kumpo. And the Greek freak, boy, I tell you, certainly gets the green light. I mean, from that position especially, Milwaukee he's really ball. developed Patrick into a nice score from Chris that spot on the floor. Ball. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. That's taking care of business, fellas. And the Bucks with some changes. Norris checked in for Chris Middleton. Ross comes in for Allen. And it's Hill in for DiVincenzo. It's Williams, high post. From nine feet out, good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Williams has got five now. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Here's Battist one. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. And officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And Clark, it's a relief to have fans back in the stands, but the rising incidents of misconduct from a few. How do you think we discourage this? Well, I think you first identify who those folks are, press charges, hold them accountable, make the penalty severe for that type of misconduct. Just because you purchase a ticket doesn't give you the right to act any way that you want to. There are protocols and rules and just basic human dignity and respect and courteousness that has to be applied. So make it, make it tough on folks that step outside of those lines. Hold them accountable and um, press charges if need be. Now out. that's how you use the screen right there. Chicago, and it leads to a call. thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. 
And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. There's a minute 12 left in the third. Six to shoot. Here's money. Drops in the three. He has six. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Now here's Ana Kumpo. He's covered closely. It's stolen. And they're on the break. Pass to Money. Here's Insanity. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And he lobs it up. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Pass to Money. Here's the Beast. Here's Money. Guarded by Ross. Shot clock at five. Oh, they get a hand on it. In transition. Here come the Bucks. And Williams punches it home. And Hill really swings the ball over nicely. A talented distributor who looks out for his guy. PA, the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. And so it's Chicago in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. Back to the game after this break. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for Milwaukee starting the fourth quarter. We've got Drew Holiday. Terrence Ross is out there with Patrick Drew Williams. Holiday. Then there's George Hill, and it's Portis in at the center position. Well, when he puts his head down now, Holiday is like a controlled bull heading into the ring. A lot of ferocity, but it's under control. Here's Baddest One. Down low, the kid. And he bangs it home with one hand. Nice basic one-hander there. Hey, I think he got some extra bounce off the ground on that one. Yeah, I agree with you. That's what it looked like to me. I mean, he was way up there. Yep, count it. And the Bulls lead by 18. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Chicago? Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. Something else they've excelled at is their interior D. Their rim protection has been outstanding. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First team foul. On Monday, they'll take on Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Detroit Pistons. In that game against the Kings, anything can happen in the NBA. But they'll be a heavy favorite, and it would take a total meltdown for them to lose. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. DiVincenzo comes in for Hill. Holiday hits them both. Well, if you want to get an idea of just how valuable Drew Holiday can be to a team, look at what the Bucks gave up to get him in 2020. A bunch of first-round picks and some pick swaps as well. And they're pleased that they got it. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Milwaukee has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Pass to Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. 
And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Bulls foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution for your Bulls. Middleton outside. And he's Bulls going foul. to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And on many other teams, Chris Middleton would be the star, Clark. But he plays the Robin role pretty well. Hey, I tell you what, B.A., there is nothing wrong with being 1A on the marquee when you're playing next to Giannis. He's overshadowed by the media because of Giannis, but his game makes a lot of noise all over the NBA. Pass to Battis one. Here's G. Off target with the three. Middleton finds Holiday. And there's the lob. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Nice display of excellent timing there by Middleton. Just skying for the basket at the right time off of those lob passes. Assistant. Really good at anticipating where that pass is and how soon it's going to get to him. Now here's Holiday. Guarded closely. To the middle. Here's Portis. And a foul Portis called foul. on the way up. So First he'll take two foul. from the free throw line. Team foul. That free throw good from Portis. Giannis Antetokounmpo checked in for the Bucks. Both free throws good from Portis. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Antetokounmpo outside. Pass to Holiday. And a great assist by Blue Antetokounmpo. Ball. And that one goes in. Confident shooting from Holiday there. Finds a shot he likes and sinks it. Even if it is the mid-range, which goes in the face of analytics these days. But I like that mid-range, Jay. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. So it's Milwaukee now. It's a 16-point game. And it's Middleton driving. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. And Holiday powers it home. You know, this is what happens when you Time combine center board. size with developing point guard skills. Giannis running the offense to perfection right there. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Yeah, there's something wrong with him right now. Have to use that timeout and get him some medical attention. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey guys, Billy Donovan was just reviewing the plan with his team. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Holiday up top. That puts them over the foul limit with plenty of time left. They have to be careful now. That's good from Holiday. Drew Holiday. Two shots. Holiday hits them both. Here's G. Pass to Red Hot. Here's the kid, defended by Portis. Here's Red Hot. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The former MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Clark, you figure he'll be in that conversation for a while. Yeah, staggering numbers from him. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see him win a few more MVPs, quite honestly, B.A., all-world talent that you just can't ignore. It's hard to take your eyes off of him when he's on the court. Here's the three. Gee, no good. The Bucks have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Giannis powering his way on the jam there. Well done. Pass to Red Hot. To the paint. And stolen by Antetokounmpo. The ball's knocked loose. Middleton outside. Here's DiVincenzo. 
And there's the rejection. Ball. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. And the Bucks with the possession here. Trailing by eight. And then Portis with the dunk. For Chicago, they've gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Drives to the hoop. Got a hand on it. For Milwaukee, they've gotten seven of nine from the floor in this Two fourth. remaining in the game. Two minutes. Can't get it to fall. Chicago has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. To the middle. Pass to G. Here's Red Hot to end the drought. That one is off. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Holiday passes to Anacumpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Well, I tell you, the future of the Greek Freak is extremely bright. I mean, he really has shown the ability to deliver in important spots of game. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. 133 left to play in the fourth. Here's Fresh. Anadokounmpo covering. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. The Bucs have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. And he drops it in from the low post. Anadokounmpo's got eight points here in the quarter. And in addition to his great talent, Antetokounmpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Chicago. One shot. One oh five left in the fourth quarter. Inside, here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, he nails it! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Persistence pays for Middleton commanding the ball and really demonstrating why his teammates trust him That's in these timeout, moments. Timeout. I think I've lost track of how many of their That's possessions hard. have ended exactly like that. Yeah, that's not a bad way to end the possession, though, and it's the reason this game is coming down to the wire. I mean, this touch from outside and from the field in general has been superb. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Stripped away. And an intentional foul right there. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Third personal foul. Third team foul. He hits the first one. And that increases the lead to six. So he gets them both. And it's a seven-point game. Sensing an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's see who's the loudest. Shot and game clock separated by five. Middleton, no good. DiVincenzo with the steal. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yep, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. Patience is a virtue. And Chris Middleton, Chicago, timeout call. virtuous. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They lead by four. 15 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Mr. Moves. 
and the three-pointer goes. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.